Hi <coughs> guys. Well, I wasn't planning to do a rant tonight, but you know me. Uh, so it is now just a yuck, rainy, drippy, depressing. It is a Saturday night. It is my first Saturday night as an official old man with broken teeth, stranded without love. So that would make it Saturday night, September 28th, uh, 2024. So if it goes without saying, I am doing the same thing on my first Saturday night, age 65, that I was doing, you know, on my last night at age 64, my last Saturday night as a middle-aged man, uh, sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass, my little dog, sitting here getting drunk by myself on Saturday night with one of the last couples showing up here at the uh, vacation rental business, the the fragments, the shattered fragments of the rodent infested uh, failed vacation business. Apparently they were not scared of mice. They were fine with the mice. And, and I'm getting the, the feeling that the, the, this, they're probably mid-twenties. And I've had this feeling with a few other couples here before this summer that I'm feeling like they're, this is the first time they've met. They arrive in two different cars and you just mention the, the most, just making conversation. As I say, this is not the first time this summer. And it's like, it's just weird. It's just like they're not a couple. And I'm feeling like, did these kids just like meet on Tinder and found some little love shack and that they don't even know each other? Uh, this goddamn Tinder thing. So uh, I've been sitting down here listening to all the laughing and giggling going on. Uh, 150 feet from me and uh, sitting here on this big Saturday night. Not that I could go anywhere even if I had anywhere to go because I, I know you guys are aware of the, uh, the, the brake light and the ABS light and all these lights coming on on my dashboard, you know, one week before my inspection, and now both of my headlights have blown out. I have no headlights. <laughs> uh, the, the chance that all of those brake lights and both headlights would fuck up, you know, within three days of each other, I don't even want to think about this. Uh, so I couldn't go anywhere, even if I had anywhere to go on Saturday night. Uh, so what I decided to do is I decided to convince myself, since I am going to be alone till the day I die, I, I, I said, okay, what, what I'm going to do is sit here and, and watch these various Omeletto and Omeletto-esque uh, type YouTube videos. What what these are are like 15 to 20 minute short films uh, about any subject. It's, it's not Doomer stuff, uh, but a lot of it, uh, these omelettos and these similar films are, you, you know, about relationships. And so you have all of the, the rom-coms but I decided I was going to center in on a, uh, on watching a bunch of these little, little twenty minute call them twenty minute videos uh, about relationships 
going down the tubes just about that you know that point in the relationship where one of the couple or both of them you know understand that here we fucking go again this love affair is fucking over and we all know we've all been through it no matter which side of it you're on whether you're the dumper or the dumpy and, and and this whole uh, what does Mary Gaucher say the falling out of love is a dangerous thing. Falling out of love is a dangerous thing. The slippery, the slippery, not the slippery slope, but uh, it, 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 anyway, it is very slippery and dangerous falling out of love when you realize that your fucking little fairy tale uh, that, that you pinned all of your fucking hopes on, all of your dreams, your little, that you met your fucking soulmate and, 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 and then uh, you get married uh, and uh, as soon as the damn hormones wear off and the fucking honeymoon is over you realize you, you just made the single biggest fucking mistake uh, of your entire life. And uh, good fucking God. And it, it's just, and then you go through that period. You know, first you, first you fake it. Uh, you, you try to deny it. Uh, you fake it uh, with your partner. We've all fucking been there. And, and you just feel yourself spiraling down into this black fucking hole of depression. And, and, and so what I thought my plan was, I said, okay, I'm going to watch five of these. Watch five of these and, and, and try to remind yourself uh, about that fucking bad marriage you were in, you, you know, the one that ended with the ham sandwich. You know, think about that fucking bad marriage you were in, that, that every fucking relationship, every love affair you have ever had has turned to fucking shit, and, 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 and then you go into that fucking depression, and, 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 and the, you know, the, the, the black hole uh, of, of being in a bad relationship uh, as, as the two of you are, are you, you know, are drifting apart and hoping it doesn't turn homicidal. So my, my goal was, was to watch five of these to uh, remind myself about all of the advantages of being alone without a fucking woman in your life. Like, thank God that I, that I was gonna watch these these five stories about the, these couples drifting apart and breaking up and, and all of the ramifications and the, the uh, emotional and mental and hell, I guess financial turmoil and the, and, and, and the depression and all of this. And I thought by the end of five of them, that, that I would be absolutely thrilled that I was sitting alone on a Saturday night. And the, and the thing about the, the, these things, guys, five out of five of them, five out of five, I just spent, what, 100 minutes, well, actually, you know, with all the stuff I was doing in between, uh, five out of five, and every one of them, the dude, the, the guy, was the heavy. Five out of five. The, 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 the woman had nothing to do with it. She was just a suffering good wife, good girlfriend, whatever. Uh, and every fucking one of these things, the, these little short films, uh, every fucking one of them... It, it, it was the guy being the fucking asshole. 
and, and, and this long-suffering woman who, uh, you know, pure as the fucking driven snow. She had no fucking responsibility. It was 100% because she, she walked into this fucking trap with this fucking asshole, narcissist, gaslighting, uh, and, and none of them were, were physical abuse. Five for five, it was just emotionally abusive, gaslighting, narcissist, just, just you know, devaluing the woman and, and, and all of this shit. And, and, and I'm thinking, you know, pull your fucking head out of your ass. I, I will take... I will take my 50% of the blame uh, for, for my fucking breakups uh, over the years. I will take my 50% of the fucking blame, but, but come on. You, you, you know, you would, you would watch the, the, these goddamn uh, little miniature movies. And, and, and just like, it's always the dude uh, that, that's the fucking heavy. And, and uh, I just get so fucking tired of it. But uh, anyway, uh, it, it, of course, it just, it, it, it really, it, it didn't, it, the bottom line was it did not serve the purpose of making me feel uh, you know, like, all right, all right, Hambone, thank God you dodged that bullet. Uh, you are one lucky son of a bitch to be sitting at home alone Saturday night with your little, your little, uh, well, he's a male dog. Uh, I'm surprised that he's not a gaslighting narcissist, emotional abuser. Uh, since any, obviously, uh, any, any human being with a penis, uh, is a fucking asshole. Every fucking one of us, we're, we're emotionally abusive, gaslighting narcissist. If not, you know, I'm sure we're, we, we, we knock women around, uh, whatever. Uh, but, but all it did was, it, it just, but, but it did remind me, uh, uh of all of these de depressing failed relationships, you know, uh, a marriage, a seven year marriage, a, uh, a, you know, the, that, that 12 year relationship that ended with that woman throwing all my shit down the uh, down the stairs of her condo in Gainesville. Now, I did deserve that one. Uh, uh, okay, I, I, I guess I deserve that one. <coughs> but, you know, it's not like in 12 years... Uh, Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. But, but the bottom line is, is that what it reminded me of is that it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't make any fucking difference, Hamon, whether you're alone or, or, or in a bad relationship, you're fucked. You know, how many fucking, how many, well, hell, not just how many Saturday nights in my life, uh, how many years of my fucking life, how many years, I bet if you actually added up the years, uh, particularly if you, if you didn't count the last eight or nine years, if you added up the years, uh, have I spent... Have I spent more literal number of nights uh, wishing I would just go to sleep and not wake up? Were they when I was alone, or was I, or when I was with a woman? Because I was nearly always with a fucking woman, you know, from age fifteen to uh, from fifteen to fifty. 
uh, all of those times that I was uh, down in the fucking uh, ready to put a fucking bullet through my head. I had a fucking woman in my life. All I wanted to do was get the fucking bitch out of my fucking life. There, there, there's no way to fucking win. You're fucked. Or not fucked. Or what, you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter. How much it doesn't fucking matter. You're sitting alone. You're, you're sitting alone on a Saturday night and, and, and you're fucking depressed or you're stuck with some fucking mouthy bitch. Uh, thinking, my God... Am I here all alone uh, with, with, with some crazy drunk bitch? Uh, it, it, it's just no fucking way. There's no fucking way to win. You know, going back, I, I think I mentioned that this dude, uh, this divorce attorney... Um, soft white underbelly, James Sexton. There's now two interviews with him. If you haven't watched the James Sexton divorce attorney interviews on soft white underbelly, uh, you, you, you know, this guy. Uh, and so I guess statistically, statistically is that 56 percent of marriages end in divorce. 56 percent end in divorce. 44 percent, you know, people get married and they, and they hold the marriage together. Uh, but, what, but what he was making clear to Mark, who, you know, the guy on Saw by Nunderbella, who he's divorced. The divorce attorney's divorced. Mark is divorced. Uh, is pointing out that does not mean that 44% of marriages, just because they don't end in divorce, that does not mean they're happy marriages. Uh, he says that there's the, the third, it, it, but by his figures after, you know, 30 years in the business, of uh, being a divorce attorney, he figures that 30% of marriages are fucking miserable. And, and that's even worse than the people who get divorced. So the way he, he he's looking at it, he, 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 he goes, for all intents and purposes, it's 86%. 86% uh, uh, of marriages are miserable. And, and the the 56% who get out of it are the lucky ones. My mother, you know, uh, Elaine Mitchell, who was not divorced, but she was in an absolutely just, just horrific marriage uh, with that fucking uh, asshole uh, that she was married to, otherwise known as dear old dad, uh, fucking asshole. Uh, that that she uh, suffered uh, with at the hands of that motherfucker. Um, it, 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 just one example of a, a of a bad marriage that did not end in divorce. Thank God for my mother. That fucking slime bag died when he was forty two years old. Uh, she could have been stuck with that motherfucker for 40 more years. Well, 37 years, when, you know, when she died. But she could have been stuck with, with that fucking scumbag uh, for 37 fucking years. And, uh, and, and, and then I was reading something. I can't remember what the statistic was. Couples, married couples over the age of 45, married couples, still married, who don't fuck. They just don't fuck. 45 years old. You know, you can only fuck someone so many times. And uh, just, they, 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 they keep the marriage together and they, and it, and it evolves into something else. 
but there there's no sex. A huge percentage, and, and, and I'm talking of the 44 percent, and, and you, just, you just wonder how many married couples who who present themselves publicly as uh, you, you know nice, healthy, affectionate married couples they never fuck. If you add that into the equation. Uh, imagine uh, how many married couples over the age of 65 who still fuck. So anyway, according to uh, I was talking about my about my mama, you know, she was a a shrink, and so these these couples uh, would come to, you know, come to see her. She wasn't predominantly a couples therapist, but, uh, she, uh, she certainly didn't turn him, turn them away. And, and she was all the fucking time telling people to get divorced. People would come in there to save their marriage. They would, they would start seeing a shrink to try to save their marriage, and, and, and she would listen to to this toxic shit coming out of their fucking mouths for two or three sessions. It says, "What the fuck are you? Why do you want to save this marriage? Do you but do you self favored? Uh, just say goodbye and fucking good riddance to each other." Uh, my mother is probably responsible for more divorces than a. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? She had no problem looking at these miserable fucking couples, and 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 saying there's no saving this marriage. Who wants to save this? Get the fuck out of this marriage. You'd be better off alone. Just like she chose to do. She was 40 years old when my old man, uh, 40 years old. She was, uh, when, when that motherfucker died fucking that girl half his age. Uh, my mother lived 36 years. 36 years. Uh... And, and, and I really never heard my mother complain very much uh, uh, about not having a fucking man in her life. So anyway, it's just, it, it, you know, it, it's, it, it's just always, it, it, it doesn't matter, it's always this fucking, the grass is always fucking greener on the other side of that fucking fence. Uh, you know, you're single and you're looking at all of the happy couples, and you want to get on that side of the fucking fence, then you get on that side of the fucking fence, and, and you're one of these little happy couples. If, if you're lucky, uh, you'll get five years out of it. If you're lucky, uh, five years, and, and then you want to be back on the other side of the fence where you fucking started five years before. I have been there, done that. I've, I've, it's, it's, I mean, you could graph my life. Uh, you know, it's always, uh, <coughs> the old grass is greener. So, you know, one, one of these things that I've been thinking, uh, being uh, depressed for 10 days now uh, is, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about all of these people, uh, even those people in the truly horrible camp, uh, doing all of this shit because they want to stay alive. I have no fucking, you know, I say half my friends are dying of cancer or some horrible fucking disease and, 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 and all of this shit, surgeries and radiation and chemo and, and all of this fucking crap and I'm thinking, my fucking God, just uh, let it the fuck go. 
and, and, and then they, you, you, you have all of these people like me. Uh, I mean, I've got a little bit of pain in my shoulder. I got some broken teeth. Uh, you know, but all in all, for a 65-year-old man, I'm in pretty good shape, uh, unfortunately. So you got all of these people. Their, their fucking bodies are falling apart. And, 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 they're, and they're doing all of this shit to, to, to keep prolonging their lives here. They don't want to die. And then you got all of these people like me uh, who, are, uh, who are pretty healthy. All we want to do is fucking go to bed and not wake up. Is there any way uh, if we could just trade bodies, you know, if I could... If I could just pick one of my dozen friends in some various stage of dying now, uh, wanting to, for, for reasons I cannot fathom, wanting to keep up with this shit, uh, you know, like, like, dude, I'll trade with you. We'll trade. You can have this fucking body. Uh, and, and you might get 30 more goddamn good years out of it. I'll take your fucking body, and I'm not going to do a goddamn thing. Uh, I tell you, well, look at you. You ought to be dead in about a in, in about six weeks. It, it, I mean, wouldn't it be cool that it, that if we could get this the, the, a way to trade out the physically healthy people who want to die, just trade bodies with the dying people who want to live. And it would it would solve so many problems. Uh, all, all of us folks who want nothing more uh, than to go to fucking sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow would uh, get their fucking wish. Maybe not tonight, but you know, uh, depending on who you trade with, uh, you could be out of here in less than a fucking month. And meanwhile, these people who are going to be out of here in a fucking month that they would stop doing all of this shit to stay alive uh, you know they can have this fucking body you know it, 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 it what whatever we get uh, it, we're, we're not satisfied we're just not fucking satisfied So, uh, I guess I've accomplished something tonight that watching all of these little things about bad relationships, even though it's always the guy's fault, uh, is... did remind me a little bit, it did remind me a little bit that if by some fucking lightning strike level of miracle that I do get a fucking woman back in my life uh, within, within six months to five years, there is a 99% chance that, that, I, that I would be wishing to fuck. I had never met this fucking bitch. Uh, and, and I would be sitting here on Saturday night thinking, how the, how the fuck did I get down in this hole again? How many times does a fucking cat jump on a hot stove? We're fucked, people. So unless you're one of the the lucky 14%, I honestly think my sister's in a happy marriage. You, you know, all three of my siblings have been in, in, in relationships for over 30 years. Uh, I honestly do not know uh, the state of the marriage of my two brothers uh, that I that I no longer uh, speak to, but uh, somehow I feel like even though they have this woman in their life, that they're not in the fourteen percent. 
although I, I honestly believe my sister is in the 14%. It helps when you marry, when, you know, uh, when you're a woman with two kids and uh, you find some good looking man 10 years younger than yourself uh, loaded down with money. It's amazing how that puts you, how, how you get skyrocketed into that 14%. Good for them. So anyway, I'm sticking with my little dog. Wrapping up another fucking Saturday night. Look at it midnight on this dreary, rainy night. And I get to figure out what the fuck is going on with this wiring in my truck. What, what the hell is going to blow out next? What the fuck is going to blow out? Is it going to be the brake lights? Is it going to be the starter? Oh, fuck. Anyway, I knew you guys couldn't wait to hear about my first Saturday night as officially a lonely old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, in a seven foot by seven foot converted tool shed while this 20-something young couple is uh, bouncing around the bed 150 feet from me. Ugh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, little soulmate, I guess it's you and me. If I can get up out of this fucking chair.